Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Note. And today, we are going to get into how to set up your Google account to do something if you don't come back to it for a very, very long time. Say for example, if you die or whatever, what do you want the account to actually do? So for this, uh, the easiest way I find to get to this is go to history.google.com. A previous video goes into all the little creepy things Google does keep track on you. But the one thing to keep in mind is everything else is doing that and it's getting worse. So there's no real escape if you want to use computers. And at this point in day and time, you don't have a choice in using computers. So with that, uh, what we need to do is go to activity control. And then what I would advise is just go straight down to when you see control your content. And you can go ahead and do this now, but we're going to set up ones if your account's inactive for a long time. So change the setting and it will be presented with this page. So just click setup and you will see the current setup as far as the current information and uh, basically you need to provide a phone number and what I advise is use your real phone number if you are using Google Voice like mine use your actual phone number and that way or at least if the vo Google Voice is connected to another account then maybe that keep in mind that that does require a um, verification so your phone has to be able to set up the uh, text message. Next, you need to set how long until the the inactivity part time should be. What I advise, if you're just doing this, say um, you pass away or something like that, 18 months. The, the longest and the reason for this is it's not likely depending on your lifestyle it's not likely three months is too long but it is possible but for personally i'm just gonna go for a pass away type of thing so 18 months is really gonna be it because you're looking at the longest period of time to give you the maximum amount of time to come back next you can select the um, add a trusted contact so from here you can put in your email you can do up to 10 people and do you want to share your data with your contact uh that's up to you if you want to i wouldn't and then lastly delete the account so this um, could be important if uh, you got a lot of things you don't want people to find in or, or or you don't want to risk that then the very last thing is enable and it will start that so it will start a countdown and every time that you use your accounts in some form or fashion on your phone or check an email or whatever it will reset a countdown but anyways, um, hopefully that's helped you out in setting up your accounts in case if something's happened to you. What do you want to do? Do you want to just share your stuff or do you want just to fully delete everything or something else? And um, in that way you are ensured that something will happen in case something does happen to you. But again, this has been Craig Bennett, found on Tech View Snoop. And if you like this video, then feel free to Leave a like, subscribe, share. If you want to help us grow, then go to the Patreon campaign that we have listed in the description and donate there to help us grow faster. 
and also feel free to share to help us grow. If you don't like this video for whatever reason, go ahead and leave a dislike, but let me know and I will try to fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder and owner of Nope, and I hope you have a great day.